Hello friends, today I'm going to take you through a full body deep stretch. I'm not quite sure how long this is going to take because I'm just going to go with the flow, see how my body feels and take you along for the ride. So let's hop straight in. So first things first, just start sitting on your mat in a cross-legged position and from here we're going to work on easing off our neck. So place one hand underneath the bum cheek and then lean your head over to the opposite side and then gently you're just going to pull with your fingertips on the top of your head and you can move your head forward and backwards until you find those tight spots in your neck just here and then hold it there all right and breathe into that stretch move that head forward and back feel those tight spots gently pull yourself Breathe out and release the tension. Staying here for 10 more seconds, guys. Nice, okay, we're gonna switch sides. So we're gonna pop our opposite hand underneath the bootay. Lean our head over and then pop our fingertips on top of our head and release those tight spots. Fifteen more seconds here guys. Deep breaths. This is such a tight area for me. I hold a lot of tension in my neck. Okay, come to centre. From here, place your hands on your knees and what we're going to do is take one hand and place it on the opposite knee and take the other hand and put it behind you. You're going to keep your spine nice and tall and then twist and look over your back shoulder. Really twist through. Don't forget to breathe. Three, two, and one. Back to centre and then switch side. Opposite hand over, reach behind you and twist, looking over your shoulder, keeping your back nice and tall. Oh, feels really good. Perfect. Back to center. Just give me a little shoulder roll. Now from here, place one hand on the ground. You're going to try and get your forearm down to the ground while also keeping the opposite bum cheek on the ground as well. And from here, take your hand up overhead and lean over. Feel that stretch extend into the core, into the lats. Do your very best to keep this bum cheek on the ground. I don't know if the microphone is picking it up, but the birds are singing this morning and it is beautiful. Nice, come to centre and just gently roll yourself over to the opposite side. Oh, this side is much tighter for me. Try and keep that bum cheek on the ground, reaching over. Good guys. Come back to centre. We're just going to release your wrists now because often we're sat typing or scrolling and our wrists can get a little bit tight. What we're going to do is just start with some circles. And from here, take one hand forward, 
place your palm against it and then pull your fingers back like this, okay? Hold it here. Relax your shoulders. And release. A couple more wrist circles. And then we'll just switch sides. So place your opposite hand forward. Palm across and then pull back like so. Good guys. Three, two, and one. We're gonna go into a little front body stretch. So come onto your knees and sit back like this. From here, we're gonna take our arms behind us, fingertips facing forward. And there's quite a few options of how advanced you want this to be. So for a beginner's stretch, just push your chest up towards the sky. That stretch is gonna push all the way into your biceps where they join your pecs. This is stage one. Stage two is to lift your hips as well. Let your head hang back. And then for my advanced stretches, stage three is to come all the way up and then lean back and grab your heels. Oh, it feels amazing. Okay, let's go on to all fours and just do a little bit of cat-cow. So all fours position, wrists underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. From here, you're just gonna relax your mid back and then put your chin towards the sky. And then reverse it, pushing it away from the ground, arching up like a cat. Oh, feels really good. Now what I want you to do is just move between these two positions for a minute, but kind of like find your flow. Don't be afraid to move in a bit of a circular motion. Find those tight spots and release them. I'm gonna have one minute here of just finding that tension and releasing it. Oh, these little side to side wiggles really get into your lats. Feels really good. Good guys, 10 more seconds. Three, two, and one. Just gonna do a little hip and lat opener. So from this all fours position, you're gonna take one leg back and the opposite hand up and over like this. So your legs are gonna be in line with one another and your hands gonna come up and over. This stretch is gonna go into the front hip, but also into your lats as well. Hold it here. Opening up that body. Feels so good, guys. Nice, circle that arm back and flip it over. Opposite side. Oh, feel that release. Feels so good. Waking up and mobilizing that body. Circle back. So we're gonna come into that all fours position again. And now we're just gonna open up through our spine. So, from the all fours position, you're gonna take one hand, reach it through, and then as you come up, you're gonna twist and look towards the sky. And we're gonna do that two more times. So reach through, shoulder blade to the ground, twist, look towards the sky. Oh, feels good. One more, reach through. Twist, reach towards the sky. Oh, I'm a little bit tight in my chest, so feels really nice. Okay, opposite side, so reach through. And then twist, 
reach towards the sky. Two more. Really, really nice. Chest opener, spine mobilizer. Oh. Now from here, we're gonna go into a cobra pose. So, drop yourself down onto the ground and drop your hips down. If this is too much for you, you can always be in this position wherever you feel it, wherever you feel comfortable. I'm gonna come into a full cobra. Now from here, just try and relax your shoulders. Drop each hip down towards the ground. Now drop your left hip to the ground and look over your right shoulder towards your right heel. Feel that stretch up your left hip into your core. And switch sides. Come to centre, both hips to the ground, chest to the sky. And then tuck the heels, the toes under, sorry, and push back into a child's pose. Now we're going to do an active child's pose. So what I want you to do is consciously push your shoulder blades towards the ground. This is going to release through your lats. Push those elbows into the ground. Push the shoulders down towards the ground. You can feel that stretch. Now we're going to go into an elevated child's pose. So put your bum high and then child's pose from here to so bring it into our lower back a little bit. Again, pushing the elbows into the ground to stretch through those lats. Hold it here for 10 seconds, guys. Okay, let's start working into our legs. So from here, you're gonna step one leg forward. Now we're just gonna go into a deep lunge here. Feel that stretch coming up the back hip. Hold it here for a few seconds for me. <clears throat> now drop the opposite arm down to the ground and put the same hand on the same leg. From here, just give me a few circles with that knee. We're just gonna open up through that joint, loosening up. Oh, feels really good. Now, from here, both hands to the ground. This is called a runner's lunge. Now there's options here to make it more difficult depending on how flexible you are. If this is a deep enough stretch for you, for your hamstring and glute under here, then that is fine. If you wanna take it to the next level, take the opposite elbow to the ground. If you wanna take it to a pretty intense level, take both elbows to the ground and just hold it here. Hold it in whatever position you can. We're gonna hold this for quite a long time, okay? Deep breaths. Five more seconds. Three, two, and one. Come up. Whew. Okay, so now we're just gonna come up all the way to a kneeling position. From here, we're gonna twist the back knee so it's at a right angle. I'm just gonna face away from you, actually. I'm gonna twist so that you can see the other way. So your back knee is gonna be going behind you like this. And now we're gonna lean into that front leg and that stretch is gonna go into our inner thigh. All right, hold it there for me, guys. If you want to, you can do a little wiggle in this area, so little circles just to kind of ease in to your inner thigh, an area we often neglect to stretch, so. This is tight for me. Deep breaths, 
five more seconds. Three, two, and one. Okay, you're gonna come back into that high lunge. From here, we are gonna stretch out your hip. So, you're gonna squeeze this back glute, squeeze, engage, and then what I wanna see is two right angles at your knees. Squeeze the back glute, and then gently push that hip forward a little bit until you feel that pinch in the front of your hip. That is where the tension is being released. You can then take this stretch to the next level by taking your hand up and over. That will extend the stretch up from the hip into the core and potentially into the lats as well. Feels good. Okay, drop down. Opposite hand to the ground. If you can, grab that back foot. Now you can just stay down here and feel that stretch in your front, in your back quad, sorry. Or if you wanna bring it up a level, you can come up onto your knees and pull that heel right into your bum. Now that is gonna be quite hard for a lot of you because your um, quads might be really tight. So you can just keep it back here. Wherever you feel that tension in your quad, find that point and hold it there. I'm gonna keep it right up to my bum. And then try and keep your balance by holding onto the front knee. Good guys, you're twisting through your core at the same time, okay? So pull your core around and twist. Hold it here for five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, we are gonna switch front leg and do all those stretches on the opposite leg. So, opposite leg forward. Oh, that other leg feels nice and released. So, we're gonna come down into that runner's lunge to start. So, come into that runner's lunge. I can already feel how much tighter this side is for me. So, I'm just gonna hold it here for a second. Then, we have the option to make it more challenging by either dropping the opposite elbow or both elbows to the ground. Find the place that challenges you, and we're gonna hold it there for a little while. <sighs> Deep breaths, this is gonna be uncomfortable, okay? But stay with me. Stay here, guys. 10 more seconds. and one. Push yourself up. From here we're going to go into that adductor stretch. So the back knee is going to twist and we're going to lean over and stretch into our hips. Oh, those inner thighs feeling tight. Hold it here for me. Guys, if you're enjoying this stretch, you just let me know by giving it a like, leaving a comment. I'm loving sharing these videos with you. Hold it there, and we're gonna come out in three, two, and one. Oh, that was tight, wasn't it? All right, so we're gonna flip back to that front position. We're gonna form those two right angles in our knees. We're gonna squeeze the back glute, engage it, and then gently push the hip forward until we feel that pull in the front, okay? Now you can either stay here, or you can extend the stretch by bringing the hand up and over. Stay here, guys, for three, for two, for one more breath, back to centre. Now, just flipping around so I can show you this better, but what you can do to take it to the next level is pick up that back heel, hand on the front knee, 
and twist through. We're going to be stretching through our core, our glutes, our quads. Good. Five more seconds here, guys. This should be challenging. Three, two, and one. Whoa. All right, next up, let's work into those hips a little bit more. We're just going to start off with some hip drops. So we're going to drop each knee to the ground. Your feet are a little bit wider than hip width. And you're just going to drop each side down for me. Nice, guys. Give me three, two, and one. Okay, we're going to go into a seated hip release in this position. So you're going to bring one heel into your crotch and the opposite leg is going to come out in front of you but the foot is going to be parallel so it's going to be facing the side like that okay. So it's about one foot away from my crotch and from here I'm just going to lean forward and by doing that you're going to feel that stretch come into this extended leg into the hip into the glute okay. Now come forward as far as you can if you can bring your forearms to the ground please do and hold it there. Feel that tightness releasing in your glute and your hip. Nice guys. Give me five more seconds here. And now we are going to come up and we're going to switch legs. So you're going to put the opposite foot in towards your crotch and the other leg out in front of you, foot staying parallel. And again, lean forward as far as you can, feeling that tension coming into that extended leg. And breathing through. If you can't get your forearms to the ground, that's okay. Just get your hands out as far in front of you as you can. And feel that stretch going into your hip. Hold it here for me, guys. For five, four, deep breaths, three, two, and one. Okay, we're gonna come into a seated glute release. So, I'm just gonna face the side for you. From here, you're gonna place one heel on the opposite knee and then you're just going to basically push your chest up as far as you can and as you sit up, if you're back here you're not going to feel much of a stretch but the further up you push yourself you're going to feel that stretch extending into the glute. Now there's always an option to do this stretch on your back but I kind of like the challenge of doing it seated so <laughs> stay seated with me if you can. From here just push yourself forward, push your chest forward until you get as close to your shin as you can. If you're feeling super flexible Take your forehead to your shin, if not, just sit here and feel that stretch in your glute and take some nice deep breaths for me. Good guys. and one. Release and you're going to switch legs so pop the opposite heel on the opposite knee. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Nice. Okay so as I said options do it on your back if you want to but if you can stay seated please try and do that with me. This side is much tighter for me I don't know if I'm going to be able to get my forehead to my shin. Oh only just but try and find that point where you feel that little squeeze that little pull in your glute and just sit here and breathe with it on each out breath. We are relaxing, we are releasing that tension, okay?
Five seconds. And one, release. Okay, we're gonna get into a hamstring and lat stretch. So, just gonna start off here with your soles of your feet together. Grab onto your toes and just give me a little wiggle from side to side, releasing off those inner thighs. Then from here, take one leg out and bring the other leg in to your crotch. And from here, you're gonna try and reach your hand as far out along this leg as you can, whether that's reaching for your foot, reaching for the ground, reaching for the shin, reaching for the knee, however flexible you are in this leg, reach as far as you can. And then the key thing is we're also gonna reach the opposite hand up and over, and that stretch is gonna extend into our lats as well. We're gonna hold this here, okay? If the lat stretch is too much, you can just go straight down with your forehead to your leg and just focus on the hamstring stretch. But if you want to add that extra element in, bring the arm in for the lat stretch as well. guys deep breaths for three two and one we're going to switch sides so opposite leg out and in and reach over again you have the option of just going straight down aiming to go forehead towards the leg or you have the option of using your lat and leaning over like so There's usually one side which is tighter than the other on pretty much every single stretch and on this stretch for me it's this side. You might feel the stretch extend from your lap down into your lower back which is super nice and satisfying. Enjoy it. Hold it here for me guys. Give me a few more deep breaths. And release. Okay, we're just gonna pop both legs out and we're gonna go for a stretch into the center. Now this is gonna be pretty hard, pretty uncomfortable for the vast majority of us. I find this really challenging but feet out wide and then reach forward as far as you can, trying to hinge forward from the hips. Even just getting your hands as far as you can, if you can get your forearms to the ground, if you can get your forehead to the ground, good for you, I am not as good as you. <laughs> but just go down as far as you can and feel that stretch coming into these inner thighs, all right? Each out breath, forward fold, even just half an inch further. Good guys. Five more seconds here. Three, two, and one. Okay, we are gonna go into a very intense inner thigh stretch, but this is so good. And it's gonna be uncomfortable but we need this, we need to work into these areas that are uncomfortable for us, okay? So come down onto your mat and put your knees as wide as you can. Now you have two options with your heels. Your heels can either be directly behind you or tucked in a little bit underneath your bum, like so. I find it harder if my shins are out to the side and easier if my toes are towards each other. So go with what feels good for you. I want a challenge today, so I'm just gonna put my feet straight behind me. Now from here, bring your body down towards the ground and you're gonna feel that stretch come into your inner thighs. From here, try and drop yourself down as low as you can. Bring your forehead to the ground and just breathe. On each out breath, try and relax your inner thighs as much as you can. We are gonna sit here for a minute or so, okay guys? Because this is a really tight area and we need to work into it. So let's get going. 
Feel free to rock forwards and back to find those tight points, using your elbows to push you back and rock you forward as you find those areas that need to be released. If you can, inch your legs out <clears throat> a centimetre further. And breathe. Two more deep breaths. Last one. Sit back and sit up. Oh, that felt really good. Really uncomfortable, but really good at the same time. Okay, coming into our final stretch for today, guys. So I'm just gonna face the side for you. From here, I'm gonna tuck my toes under and I'm gonna forward fold from my hips. So how far you're going to forward fold is going to completely depend on your hamstring flexibility, okay? So if you're forward folding and you're literally just placing your hands on your shins, that is perfect, that is fine. If you can reach your calves, that's great. If you can reach your toes, if you can reach the floor, however deep you can go into the stretch, that is fine with me. But just hang here for a second. So I'm going to show you two options of what you can do here. Option number one is just going to be gently twisting yourself from side to side and feeling that stretching into different areas of your hamstrings and glutes. Now option two is a very advanced stretch, so don't do this if you're not very comfortable with stretching or you feel like you have extremely tight chest and biceps or front of your body, okay? So the next pose you're going to do is you're going to come up, interlace your fingers behind your back and then drop your chest down like so. From here, if you are in this advanced stretch, on each out breath, you're gonna try and drop your arms a little bit further over. Guys, if this advanced stretch is not for you, it's okay. You can just be bouncing gently from side to side and easing through those hamstrings on each out breath, trying to get a little bit deeper. If you are with me on this advanced stretch though, on every out breath, try and release the arms. A little bit deeper shake out that neck release that tension in the neck we are going to stay in this hamstring stretch for three more breaths now fingertips to the ground all of us, we are going to drop our knees down. We're going to come into a seated position. And I'm going to say thank you so much for joining me for a stretch today. Give me one or two shoulder rolls just to ease off any tension in the upper body at this point. One neck circle or two. Feel that last bit of tension releasing from your body. And guys, thank you. Thank you so much for joining me for a stretch today. It's been an absolute pleasure. My body just feels fantastic now and I hope you feel the same too. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. Please leave a comment and please subscribe because I have tons of workout videos here on my channel. And have an amazing day. Bye.